All right, so a little bit more on neuroblastoma. It's the most common abdominal malignancy, many possible signs and symptoms depending on what it, where it is and, and what it's elaborating, so in terms of tumor markers. Uh, so proptosis, it is associated with Horner syndrome. So we very frequently get referrals for babies with Horner syndrome to make sure that it is not one of the um, uh, a remote uh, or distant uh, neuroblastomas. They may present with opsoclonus myoclonus or periorbital ecchymoses, the so-called raccoon eyes, or bluish subcutaneous nodules. So the treatment, it depends. This is a very interesting disease process, right? Neuroblastoma uh, runs the gamut uh, in terms of risk stratification from virtually benign acting lesions. Uh, some are characterized by spontaneous resolution. So the neuroblastoma simply fades away. It matures back into uh, well-behaved neuronal cells and, uh, and disappears up to extremely lethal, dangerous disease uh, that requires intensive chemotherapy, surgery, radiation, differentiation therapy. We use everything in the kitchen sink to treat high-risk neuroblastoma. Unfortunately, about 50% of children present with high-risk disease. So the prognosis is favorable in younger patients. So that is built into our risk, uh, risk stratification table. It's rather complex uh, based on genetics and age and um, some other uh, findings, including analysis of this oncogene in MYC. So MYCN, in MYC or MYCN. Um, and we look to see whether that oncogene is amplified. So that is one of the mechanisms driving uh, higher risk neuroblastoma. So any patient with NMIC amplified disease immediately jumps into the high risk category. Um, and then hyperdiploidy is also assessed. And there's this odd category of stage 4S. So these are infants that may have metastatic disease, but overall have a very good prognosis. All right, so there's our child with Horner syndrome affecting her cute little one's uh, left eye. So she's got some proptosis. Or, uh, ptosis there, um, and there's the lesion in her cervical, uh, this must be an MRI of her cervical region showing a large uh, preganglionic or uh, neuroblastoma. All right, so some stage four neuroblastoma. This is simply a bone scan showing widespread disease. Uh, some of that is physiologic, but most of those darker spots uh, are showing involvement of the skeleton uh, with neuroblastoma. <clears throat> 